This is the George Michael. I was always a big George Michael fan. Don't hold it against me, guys. Or Errol Flynn. The George Michael or the Errol Flynn. Now we got the Juan Valdez. Or the Cheech Marin. Separate that out and go with the Tom Selleck. The Tom Selleck. All right, let's get rid of the whole thing. That the theme of this second shave will be me destroying company names. Zomshi, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Zomshi, Martin de Condre, Foage. And to finish it up, Clubman Penal, Penu, Clubman Penu. <laughs>
And I don't know why I told her I couldn't, but I'm gonna try it now since I'm getting rid of the goatee and we'll just do this for fun. So I'm gonna get in here. With the one blade. And clean that up and see what that looks like. I don't have enough connective hair here. But certainly that's what that would look like. And that's what I like about one blade. You see, I can trim up if that's what I was going for. It's not what I'm going for, but I could trim up in different spots. There's no nicks. There's no tugs. Just simple hair removal. But let's get to cracking. I'm certainly not liking that. Let's take this off. Now with one blade, the directions say, use it against grain is the best way, or really the only way to use this. So there you go. See how quick and easy it takes off long stubble? No need to push it, just go in slow and steady. You got the devil mustache. This is the George Michael. You like the George Michael? His older album, the last real, might have been his last album. I was always a big George Michael fan. Don't hold it against me, guys. Or Errol Flynn. The George Michael or the Errol Flynn. You like that? How about we leave this on for a couple of days? You like the Arrow Flynn, the George Michael, with the little Devil's Point? Soul Patch, little Soul Patch, Devil Point. What do we think? Yes, no? Leave a comment below. Let me know if you like the Arrow Flynn the George Michael, whatever you want to call it, and maybe I'll bring it back. But for today, I'm getting rid of it. But already, I'm feeling like I can breathe a little better. All right, let's continue. Let's get rid of the soul patch. You like that? <laughs> let's get
इसके बाद Now we got the Juan Valdez or the Cheech Marin. Now let's go in. You see that? Separate that out and go with the Tom Selleck. The Tom Selleck. All right, let's get rid of the whole thing. Now what's great about one blade is you can use it in the nooks and crannies as a pre-shave. So if you're ready to shave and this might be a technique I might, might use. I'm not sure why I've never used this before, but even for just a regular shave on a regular day, the nooks and the crannies on a DE shave can be challenging, especially if you have a big nose like me, getting under here, uh, getting around the lips and sensitive bits. One blade is uniquely designed for that. No nooks, no nicks. No cuts. Now I'm clean around the, the tender bits and under here. And I don't even have to worry about it when I go to shave on the second pass. I can always, I can also trim around my ears, trim in the ears to eliminate some of that extra hair there. I could put a, a comb on and I could pull this down a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it. So there you go, a goatee gone in you know, less than 10 minutes with me talking, probably two minutes if you really just went at it. And I'll leave the rest for the proper Zom Shi shave. Now I'll jump into the shower. I'll steam up. I'll clean up. And we'll get this day on the road. But there you have it, guys. I could separate this video into two and give you two for the price of one. No, I could separate this video into two. But I'm going to give you two for the price of one. I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, out of the shower, cleaned up, steamed up, and I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm going to be using my Pacific Shaving Natural Cork Handled Synthetic Premium Synthetic Badger Brush. Get them while they still are available, guys. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can pick them up. So let's get right into it. I've got a nice steam going. The pores are open. I'm going to go directly into the tin. Add a little bit of near hot water to the head of this brush. It's still got a little leakage. I'm gonna go right there and I'm gonna pick up this Martin. Ah. All right, let's get a little bit more. I like that name, Martin. All right, here we go. We're gonna go right on to the face. Oh, wonderful smell. And look at that already, look at that little foam. Luxurious foam. The soap is premium. Look at all the lather. Just a couple of seconds on the face. The matin, the condre. Look at how thick that is. And if I wanted to thin it out a bit and fluff it up, I can go down here, add just a couple of drops of water and go right back to the face for more, more foam. 
again with more water, more agitation, you get more foam. Say it with me. More water, more agitation, more foam. Let's go back, get a couple more drops of near hot. Look at that, little, couple more drops of water, a little bit more water, a little bit more agitation, a little bit more foam. Oh, look at all that cream, guys. Look at that. Really slick, wonderful smell. Martin de Candre. I got this at Pastor Shaving in New York City, guys. If you ever get to New York City, or if you're close to New York City, you gotta you gotta hook up with Leon at Pastor Shaving. It's the candy store for the shaving enthusiasts. All right, here we go. First pass, we're gonna go down with the hair. Oh God. Shaving with the hair, with grain. Really smooth, really nice. This reminds me of the bevel razor. It's designed similarly. And it's just a very nice, mild feel to this razor. Look at all that foam. Martin de Condre. Great lather great scent reminds me of another premium brand that is more affordable and that is elysian soap shop my favorite soap but this martin de condre is very nice first pass again with the grain This is a very nice razor, guys. Average guy approved already. If you're toying with the idea of getting into wet shaving, you're a cartridge man now, and you're a, you, you're, you've got the, the hankering to try, but you're worried about hurting yourself, This is the razor. Great starter razor. Absolutely very mild. I don't see how you could get into much trouble here. All right. First pass is in the books. Go with a little more near hot. We're gonna go three passes. Next pass will be a cross grain pass. Again, a little bit more near hot. I'm going to go back to that brush. I'm going to work it in one more time. Oh, yeah. Martin de Candre. Very nice, guys. Very slick. Easy to lather. Wonderful smell. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's get back into it. Now I use that one blade up top so I don't have to spend a lot of time around the nose, around the mouth. I'm just gonna go with a cross grain. Look at that, right on the jaw neckline. Long strokes, guys, on this second pass. Gliding across the skin, gliding across the tender areas because we've already handled them with one blade. Oh, wonderful. This is a great razor. Wow. And I want to thank the folks at Zom Chi for sending me this razor. And I'll leave a link in the description box. They sent the link over. So you can 
get it from them. I believe on Amazon. Oh, very nice, guys. Very, very, very nice. No nicks, no pulls, no tugs. It's just the right weight. The knurling is beautiful, and it's a beautiful razor. It's got good heft to it, but not too much. Not overly hefty. Oh, it feels good to have a nice shave. I can breathe. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to go for the third and final pass. And then we're going to call it a day. Go back to that original pull. And work it into the skin. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Third and final. And I still have more, still have more. Look at this, look at all that cream. So don't let it go to waste. I'll put it, put it on. Like Shaver Boy 516, he doesn't let all this cream go to waste, he puts it back on. All right, nice cushioning for the third and final pass. Third and final, against grain pass, very nice. Light pressure, no need to force. Remember guys, we're not digging, we're shaving. Oh, right there. Nice. Nice. This has been a very enjoyable shave. So again, guys, if you're looking to dip your toe in the water of wet shaving, but you've been a little afraid that you're going to nick yourself up, cut yourself up, not have great technique, I would highly recommend this razor. Again, if you take a look at it, it's very similar to the bevel. It's got an interesting angle here, which really prevents a lot of exposure to the blade in a bad way and keeps you in really a correct form to tackle the shave. And again, I want to thank Zum Chi for sending me this, the folks over there. Very nice. Again, I will leave a link in the description box so you can pick it up. And ShaverBoy516, thank you, brah, for suggesting it, connecting us. And uh, also you guys, I want to thank you for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you like this video, if you want me to grow the goatee back, although I don't think I will be because of the allergies and such. But comments are very helpful if you feel like you like this video and you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, please. That helps me too. And I'll see you clowns on the next one. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Now, Haley, roll. So this video is a tribute to my buddy, Dan Hannon. This is Clubman Pinot's classic vanilla aftershave. I'm going to put this on and get on with my day. I actually forgot to film this at the end of the video. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this. Oh, smells good. Has a little bit of that old school burn. 
that lets you know it's working. But there you go, guys. All right, have a great day. Roll the music. Took you like a shot, I thought that I could change.